And now, here is the favourite, both of the crowd and in any assessment of form here, Ivana Spanovic, defending champion, twice a world indoor medalist, European champion outdoors. Spanovic in the long jump, her first attempt in the qualifying. Needs 660 or more. And gets it, and gets it, who would doubt it? She really is a top-class competitor, right up there in the world elite. Magnificent uh, Olympic competition, of course, it was won by Brittany Reese in the end. But uh, Spanovic was... Uh, and I've just won a little bet with Philip Menchel as well. <laughs> because I said early on that I thought we might get a seven-metre jump, and we've just got that with Spanovic's one jump in the qualifying. That was a just phenomenal jump, really. I mean, Let's just look at the distance coming up here. There it is, 7.03, a world lead for the favourite, Ivana Spanovic. Big roar as Ivana Spanovic comes onto the runway after a foul in the first round. That's a huge jump. That's well over seven metres. That has got to be in excess of her world lead of 7.03 from the qualifying. That is a, a big jump. I think that's a national record of any circumstances. She's got an outdoor best of 7.07. .07. Spot on the board, gets it absolutely right. Huge height in the air. Let's just wait for that measurement, but I'm pretty sure that's well in excess of 7 metres. 7.16, national record, world lead, and a terrific jump. Well... The other seven women are going to have to produce something very, very special indeed and jump far in excess of what they've done before to even challenge that. Well, that's the fifth, takes her to fifth on the European all-time list behind Drexler, Chistyakova, Beresnaya and Kropotnova. And the last of those was in 1989, so it's the best jump by a European indoors for, well, that's a very long time, 28 years. Spanovic now has her third attempt. And another big jump. A white flag. Well, it's there or thereabouts, that 7.16 she did in the last round. little more to spare on the board than her previous jump. Well, only a centimetre, though. <laughs> well, she's really getting it right in this competition. On Friday, Thursday, rather, at the press conference, she was talking about the fact that she didn't feel any pressure whatsoever, in contrast to a couple of her compatriots, and that she responds well to f jumping in front of her home crowd. Had a great performance at the Balkan Indoor Championships last weekend at this same facility. Obviously feels very much at home here. We're well, still waiting for confirmation of that measurement. They're certainly taking the time, the judges. She's just calmly waiting. Can she be that calm when there's something special about to come? Well, she's really dominated this competition. Seven metres, 24. A stunning jump there, two back-to-back -back great efforts from Spanovic. Well, what a terrific performance. We knew it was long, we're just waiting for the measurement there. She's gone past Brittany Reese now at 7.23. She's now third on the world, all-time indoor list. 
behind just Drexler and just Jakova. So we haven't had indoor jumping like this. As I said, it's 28 years since we've had anywhere in the world now to better that indoors. Almost three decades. It's not hyperbole to say you're seeing a historic performance here. Ivan Spanovic. She has responded in magnificent fashion to all the expectations placed on her by the home crowd here in Belgrade. 7.24. As we've been saying, the longest jump in the world for 28 years. Can she match that? Well, very, very tight on the board, but she does get the white flag. Only big jumps, but a fantastic series, isn't it? Yes, after that foul in the first round. Bang, every single time, spot on the board. Well, that is another jump over seven metres. Possibly not quite as long, though, as that phenomenal third round leap. Well, still... A great performance, 7 17. Now, Ivana Spanovic. The pressure's off. Well, I think the pressure might have been off from the second round when she jumped 7 16. But nevertheless, the gold medal is now absolutely guaranteed in her hands. Cranked up the music, and certainly the applause is starting to deafen. Oh. <laughs> she just ruined a good job. Well, she did indeed. She, I want to see that again. She just collapsed, but they gave her the white flag. It was a perfectly acceptable yeah, jump. It wasn't a further one, of course. I know. No, no, but it was still probably better than anybody else. Oh, way do. better, way better. No, it was a strong <laughs> seven meter plus jump. <laughs> Let's have a look at that one again and just see what... Well, 6.73, just collapsing back. As Peter says, it would have been well over seven metres. No, we know it wasn't going to be a winning jump. She didn't spoil that, but it would have been nice to have had a series of valid jumps all over seven metres, that's for sure. And all of them, apart from that one, have been over her previous lifetime best. Well, they're chanting her name. Well, she really delivered. She's been all over every bit of literature accompanying these championships. She's been Serbia's standout athlete for a decade, following on from her world junior title back in 2008. Well... I just wonder what the Americans will think. The likes of Brittany Reese and Tiana Bartoletta and a few others when they see these performance a bit later on in the day. Well, it'll be just past breakfast time on the west coast of the United States. Well, big smiles from all three medalists, though. Spanovic, of course will be the talking point all across Serbia tomorrow morning. But deserved applause as well for terrific performances from Lorraine Eugen. 6.97 national record in the silver medal spot. And Claudia salman Rath twice improving her personal best, which was set in qualifying during the course of this competition. And she got a bronze.
Well, we're going through the event pre presentation director's CD collection here. Simply the best, but on this occasion, as I said earlier, certainly it's not hyperbole.